two musicians, Sir on Jewel, when one with skillful fingers swift as wind swept to and fro along the glittering keys, I said, I wish I were away from these clattering and noisy players, but resigned myself to listen and try to seize upon some meaning in the tune I heard. That my ears were harsh now it rang and wired, and was as if I listened carelessly among a crowd of people coarse and rude, who talked in shrillest tons of crutch of void, for only seldom one could catch a word. Even their voices were born to me, and pictured their dull faces, till released from such companions when the music cheesed. But when the second player struck a note and fingered softly out a gentle air, it was like coming from the turmoil where I waited to a light Venetian boat, idle to the light among the shadows, where one may drift and dream, and suddenly one deep sweet voice sang such a song to me. I listened, and I thought not far away, the music ever sent me so astray, and I could call back the tale I told, and the world seemed lost, as when one day I laid me down upon a high cross crest, warm with the sunshine, where alone to rest, far below a great wave shoreward rode.